And good evening, everybody. We are ready for the opening kickoff of tonight's action between FC Dallas and San Jose Earthquakes alongside Steve Davis, I'm Owen Newkirk. A roll to Facundo Quinone, who gets taken down. Play continues to the right, a quick attempt, and it's blocked by Hedges, and a penalty has been given to the Earthquakes. And suddenly, we have a little bit of a deja vu moment as Hedges gets shown a yellow card. Well, it's that pass right there that puts Quinone in trouble. And then here, Hedges sliding. You know, if he has his arm down by his side as he comes in, and it, it's just to break his fall, they're not going to call that. But because his arm is way out by the side. Let's see what he can do here with his left foot against Felipe Mejilaro. A very early moment of this match. Alanis right down the middle. And San Jose has taken the lead in the sixth minute from the penalty spot. Alanis second goal of the season, both from the spot against FC Dallas. Lately, and he just goes right down the middle. Felipe just guessing one side. When you get it, go down the middle, Pomacol, Cervania, pressure by Jutin. Nice layoff to Pomacol. Numbers running through the middle. Pomacol to Obreon at the top of the box. Right footed effort, fought off by Marcinkowski, and then cleared away. A great counter attack move by Dallas that started with Tumasi winning a battle in his defensive. Th Really puts Obreon in a good spot. And I don't know about you, Owen, but I'm wondering, could Obreon have maybe taken one more touch? And certainly his first touch, I think if he needs to take it. Able to hold off Minnesota United 1-0. Pomical overlap from Tuomasi. Left footer into the box. Knocked down. Ferreira. Oh, what a save of the right hand by JT Marcinkowski as he denies Jesus Ferreira of yet another goal. As Alanis had to defend that one. Now this is Tomasi just flashing the ball across. It misses Pepe, but it falls really nice. Tomasi, I got the crowd buzzing a little bit here at Toyota Stadium. Obreon, now Che. He'll cross this one in. Diving header, and it's in! The choo-choo train just keeps steaming along. Ricardo Pepe bags his 12th goal of the season. He just can't stop scoring. Pepe and FC Dallas are back level in the 50th minute. Yet again, but look, I said a while ago, Justin Chase, he's got to push up the right side just a little bit more. This is a pinpoint delivery. Good run there from Ricardo Pepe into the near post. It's a brave header, too. And he knows how to put it right in the right spot, doesn't he? You know, that took a little bit of a deflection off of Nathan, didn't it? The question is, will that ultimately go down as an own goal? Well, I think it's... Good block by Martinez, because Nathan put a lot of pace on that shot on his second effort. Here's the corner kick, curled in toward the back post. Free header off the bar. Wondolowski. Cleared but not out. Fierro blocked by Hedges. Great intervention there, and Dallas will clear the lines for the moment. MLS leading goal scorer get a great opportunity to give the road team the lead. I mean, what can you say here? He's, he's the MLS all-time goal scorer. You, you can't let somebody have a free header at the back post, but you certainly can't let that guy have a free header at the back post. And Back to the middle. This is Ferreira, Cervania, Pepe toward the end line, back heel. Ferreira to his left foot, turns, right foot, an effort, and Marcinkowski with a fingertip save to keep it from giving Dallas the lead. Doesn't need a little wind up here. He just, he understands the moment. He just sort of pokes his right leg out there. That's a great save by Marcinkowski. It's two in the game for the San Jose goalkeeper. That's going to go for a Dallas throw-in right by the technical area. Luchi Gonzalez catches it, but they will not have another opportunity. And an incredibly hard-fought battle between Dallas and San Jose.